Welcome to Haltech Elite NSP Training Part 78. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at setting up and working with a transbrake control. We're going to be learning how we can integrate both a bump box and a creep feature so that we are able to stage our car very effectively when we're on a transbrake with an automatic transmission. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at setting up and working with our transbrake control using our Halsack Elite and our NSP software. Now our transbrake is something that we use on an automatic transmission when we're staging our vehicle at the drag strip and we wanna be able to launch it with consistency. It's putting the transmission into gear and reverse at the same time. This puts the engine under a load and a turbocharged engine, we can use this to generate and build boost. So we like to go in and work with the transbrake control to implement a stationary rev limiter and putting the engine under load. So when we launch it, we're gonna have that consistency and repeatability to have good 60 foot times, also to be able to come out in the engine's power band. We can also implement and use our transbrake control to work with something known as a bump box feature or a creep feature. Both will allow you to stage your vehicle before you start to beam in or get into both the beams at the drag strip. It allows you to have a controlled way we can start to bring our vehicle in rather than having to use the actual brake on the car and being on the throttle. This gives you further consistency and repeatability at launch. We're gonna talk about the bump box and the creep feature. The creep is more sophisticated, takes a little bit more programming. We're gonna go over all those details later in the tutorial using our Excel spreadsheet calculator to help us calculate and figure out our off time, which is something we have to pay attention to when we're implementing and using that creep feature. And again, we'll get into what that all means here in a little bit. First, let's take a look at setting up our transbrake with our Haltech Elite here. So what I'm gonna do is move from my field tuning page over here into main. Now in main, I'm gonna go over here to the navigation tree and I'm gonna work our way down here into our transmission section. This is where we turn on our transbrake feature. So if we go here, transmission, under functions, we move down our list here, we're gonna find transbrake as our option right here. We're gonna go ahead and toggle that on. Now we'll go ahead and close all these other windows that are open here, and if we go down, we find that transbrake is now able to be accessed and to be programmed. Now if we go here and quick do a reboot, that allow the changes to take to my hall tech here, and we can continue on. Now, first and foremost, we need to go and worry about our wiring, and then we need to go and configure some of our details here under the options. Right now, the transbrake feature isn't enabled. We see everything's grayed out, nothing's happening here because we haven't configured any of the details here in our wiring. Now under the transbrake control, we find that we have a not used, which is the way it's set up here right now because we're not using the feature. Obviously, we wanna turn this on. We have the option here for an input only or an input and output. So in this case here of input only, this would be just using the transbrake to lock the transmission into gear and to reverse if we choose this option, we can take a look at this real quick. That will allow us then to jump back in here and have a rev limiter that we can program right here. We can see that's gonna be our launch limiter. Now, we most likely wanna take this a little, a little bit further than just working with a stationary launch limiter here, but just be aware that we are able to implement that. So that would be the most simplistic way to wire in our transbrake here. Let's just do that real quick. Let's do a quick reboot. Now in my case, with my transbrake controller, I am sending a 12 volt in through the button that's on my shifter assembly here on my automatic transmission. That's gonna allow me to engage or disengage the transbrake control. So we can see here, transbrake input, I'll go to assign, and I've wired it to AVI5. Now I'm gonna be sending a high voltage in, so we wanna make sure that we don't have our pull-up enabled. If your transbrake switch is gonna be a ground input, meaning one leg of the switch goes to ground, the other leg goes to the ECU pin. When you push the button, that'll complete a ground circuit and essentially ground your pin on your Haltech. Then you would go here and have your pull-up enabled. In my case, I have a high voltage, 12 volt coming in, and I don't need that pull-up to be enabled. Now we do need to configure the on and off voltage threshold. So two volt and higher, it allows the transbrake control to turn on, and then one volt and lower that disables it, essentially turns it off. Let's go ahead and test this real quick just to make sure we have this configured right. So if I go ahead and put, push the switch on here, we're gonna see it's only showing one and a half volts, and if I come off, it's showing uh, 0.23 volts. Now this is a little bit interesting because you have this tied into a 12 volt source, so there could be some kind of a cap coming in on the analog voltage input here that it doesn't allow the full 12 volts to actually be read. Now that's not a problem 
we need to just configure our details here based around that measured voltage. That's why we want to pay attention to these details. So I'll say here, switch on voltage above one volt and then switch off below 0.5 volts. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.